Hey guys, Rivetet here, and welcome to Horus. I want to try something new. Hey, this was free on Epic. I got it a little while back, so I thought, you know, I will, I will start brand new. Platformer. Robot. Kind of interesting graphics. Up my alley. So we're going to, we're going to play. I like these kind of games. <clears throat> of course, they've been a bit of a staple on my channel for the last few months anyway. I have no idea. Okay, that's a blob. You guys like, it's a yellow blob. It's kind of cute. Yellow electrocutions. Ah, number one. I remember the dial modem sounds. He's cute. <laughs> Man 2.0. Horus. Oops. That won't harm him at all. That's neat. A game came out last year, got all kinds of accolades and stuff, so I'm like, I gotta give it a shot. I didn't hear anything about it until I got it on Epic, so I was like, okay. Okay. Okay, I can move. <laughs> I'm walking around like a mummy. Okay, down, left, right. I got controls. And so, I was born. The first people I remember seeing were the old man, the old lady, and their daughter, Heather. After they'd said hello, the old man powered me down so he could install some software. <laughs> the Lost Ninja. Nice. I could tell they were nice people. The old man didn't give me a silly voice <laughs> oh, come on. personality. That's gonna And be. the old lady didn't dress me like a clown. Although for some reason, Heather really didn't like me. Once I'd had time to get used to walking, the old man asked me to dash from one end of the room to the other. Okay. Oh, I like his sound effects. Those are cute. Okay, there we go. Next, the old man spent a couple of hours building some wooden platforms. He said he wanted me to jump up them. Okay. But I must admit, I was scared. <laughs> it wasn't until I saw Heather and her mother happily climbing up them that I decided it might be okay. Let's give it a shot. Okay, teaching the basics of platforming. The old man then rearranged the platforms. Of course he did. He told me to try to reach the other end of the room without touching the floor. The floor is lava. Said, the floor's made I knew it. But when I smiled at her, she just frowned and looked <laughs> away. The old lady arranged some pillows and blankets. She said it was in case I fell, but I think she just wanted it to look more like lava. <laughs> okay, I dig it. Okay, so don't touch any red. Got it. Did it. When I I'm reached a pro. the other side, the old man just smiled and said, That'll do for now. Well, learning to walk, I can do this. 
and jump. I always enjoy tutorials, especially when they try to add something different. You know, there's a story telling a tale here, and I, it's cute. I gotta win the heart of the little girl, though, which is fine. Interesting. I moved the joystick. A couple of days after those first lessons, the family had a big meal, and I was introduced to everyone else. The professor was the old man's brother. He was very quiet, and always seemed to just kind of stare at me. <laughs> he had lived with the old man for five years. The house was so huge they barely saw each other. He preferred instead to stay in his room, leaving everything up to his butler, Mr. Deck. As he insisted everyone call him, although the <laughs> professor always called him Anton. For a while, he called me the yellow bastard. But the old man made him stop, as he thought it sounded racist. Yeah? Mr. Silton was the old man's driver. Before he worked here, he'd gotten in with some bad people and was the driver in the post office robbery. <laughs> Jason Statham? all went wrong for some reason. Mr. Silton showed me a video of his band. I'm sure some people must like it, but I just found it terrifying. <laughs> then there was Alice. She was the cook. She was a nice old lady. When she was younger, she had been a TV chef. Then, years later, she had a cute. small part in Coronation Street. <laughs> Mr. Silton said, before she worked for the old man, Alice was quite a hoarder. She I laughed there because I watched Coronation Street, so. And something about a poo in a shoebox. Oh, God. The what next a weird morning, game. The old man gathered everyone together to show them what I was capable of. What else does he do? asked Mr. Silton. I can jump. The old man smiled. He can help around the house. Could he help me with my newspaper collecting? asked Alice. I'm not sure that's a good idea, said the old lady, but he can do all sorts of jobs. Yeah, said Mr. Silton. Shove a stick up his ass and he can do <laughs> the <next> job. <laughs> now, now, said the old man. We have company pointing to some important looking people. Uh-oh. Two large men, both called Gary, set up what the old man referred to as lasers. He said again, I should try to get from one end of the room to the other, but I shouldn't be worried, as I had a special chip which meant no matter how damaged I was, I couldn't die. He said it was like infinite lies in a video game. Ooh. <laughs> I could take advantage of those days. I didn't understand. He said he would explain another time. Okay. Zot. Okay, I got it. This is fun. Everybody clapped. Of course they did. Except the important looking men. Not exactly a cold calculated killer, is it? Said the man in black. The man in grey laughed. What kind of artificial intelligence was that? He asked. Move right, unless there's something in the way. <laughs> okay, okay, said the old man. He turned to me and whispered, they're going to make it quite a bit tougher. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, I got this. It's gonna suck, but I got it. Okay. I can do this. This is like Donkey Kong. Okay. I can do all this. The Garys yeah. then rearranged the room one last time. Bastard Garys. The old man smiled. Now, now, there's no need to look so glum, he said. I'm still happy with everything you've done today. So this time, I was determined to do him proud. 
Cool. Thank you. Uh, okay. I looked. I leaped before I looked. I got this. Hell. The old man's friends actually seemed quite happy when I made it through. We might have a winner after all, said the man in black. It's no Killbot 3000. Killbot 3000. But you can almost see the fire in its eyes. A I'm not going to be a Killbot. Later, the old lady said she had a surprise for me. Ooh, I like surprises. My own room. Ooh. She also wanted to play me some music. Cool. I wasn't sure after what Mr. Silton had shown me. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, this is cute. Damn it. As if music wasn't amazing enough, the old lady then bought me a television set. I couldn't believe what I saw. I watched everything I could. Comedy, drama, film. horror, sci-fi. Anything mm -hmm. anyone wanted to watch, I would happily watch with them. <laughs> yeah. One day, the old man set up a small box. He plugged some cables into the television and said, this is what I meant when I said video games. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Horace, I know how you feel. At every chance I could. Yeah. I took on everyone. I was unstoppable. I had enjoyed music, film, and television. But to me, video games really were the highest art form. I won't argue with that. Ha <laughs> Pawn. That's cool. <laughs> I'm digging this a lot. Oh god, no. So yeah, if you guys were around for 1980X, um, there's a lot of those kind of games in here. I've seen in uh, Panzer Dragoon was one of the ones I was like as soon as I saw that stuff I'm like oh god I have to get it well I already knew I wanted to get the game but I needed to play it come on you bastards god this brings back some really weird memories me and my sister playing on the TV dang it when I was little I think it was like eight or nine when I first started playing Pong. And I'm 51, so that's a while ago. Over 40 years. God damn, I've been playing video games a long time. You'd think I'd be good with the amount of practice I've had over the years. I win. Heather's birthday was a couple of months later. Her mum and dad had bought her a camera and arranged a day out by the sea so that Heather could take some photos. Cool. Although I really don't think she wanted any pictures of me. Mm. When the old man asked the professor if he wanted to go, he frowned and said, I can't believe you want to spend time with that thing. It could destroy the world. I wasn't sure what he meant, but the old man just smiled and said, That's what you said about the Game Boy. <laughs> it and did destroy the world. About you. I don't think so. Came Pokemon because of that damn thing. The last time I got in that car, Barry crashed us into a branch at Woolworths. Oh God. I never would have gone into Woolworths of my own accord. The old man explained that the car was old and the brakes had failed, but Mr. Deck was having none of it. So Mr. Silton drove. Oh. And Alice came along for the fresh air. Bunnies. I enjoyed being outside. Although, the old lady kept telling me to be careful of the rickety old walkways. It felt like she was telling me off. 
but I think she was just concerned. I have a feeling something bad's going to happen here. As the old man and I stood on the clifftops, I could see something in the distance. I wasn't sure what it was, so I asked the old man. He said it was a battleship that had sunk in the 1940s. You sunk my battleship. When he spoke about war. I didn't see what happened, but the metal platform Heather was climbing on had collapsed. Oh God. She was safe, even if the rocks she was on looked very dangerous. The tide was rising, and we didn't know how long the Coast Guard was going to be, so I offered to climb down and get her. The old man agreed, but said I should be careful, okay. as Heather doesn't have infinite lives, like I do. Oh god. Damn it. Same place. Well, oh, get used to it. Damn it. Oh, I got sorry. Oh god. Oh god. Here we go. I don't mind platformers. I just hate when they, the things drop on you. I always hated that. Every game I've ever played. It's like, it's like a cheap mechanic that drives me nuts. Okay. Heather was unconscious and her leg was broken. Oh. So I picked her up as gently as I could. I decided it would be best if I didn't run the rest of the way. No running. Taking that to heart. Okay. And she doesn't have infinite lives, so I'm going to try to do this in one. Oh, damn it. So much for that. Trying to not let her go away. Okay. Oh god, oh god. Oh, this is definitely and a platformer. The had arrived by the time I had made it back to the cliff top. The medics made sure Heather was okay, and then took her off to hospital. A few days later, we all went to see how she was doing. She was fine, but would have to wear the cast for a couple of months. Robot. <laughs> I can I can own that. What the hell okay, it's the wheelchair and I'm pushing her. I was like, what the hell is that? These graphics don't make a lot of sense up close. You have to get for farther away. I guess we've become friends now. Once Heather got to know me, we became good friends. Cool. We That's enjoyed cool. the same films and TV. She was also annoyingly good at some of my favorite games. <laughs> After a while, she became very interested in how I worked. Soon she knew as much about me as the old man did, if not more. <clears throat> The hell? We spent the next couple of months visiting other countries, as when it came to teaching me things, the old man always liked to pick interesting locations. As he should. He had explained the basics of mathematics to me at the Great Pyramid of Egypt. 
taught me history in the dead of night, surrounded by mysterious giant stones. Ooh, Stonehenge, cool. And even showed me science in action high up in a hot air balloon. <laughs> this is why I was surprised when the old man took me to a restaurant. It was nice, but it seemed very somber compared to the previous grand locations. He said he just wanted to chat, and this was nice and quiet. Okay. Plus it was his favorite place to eat. We talked about life, the universe. <laughs> Douglas Adams. Adams. So everything, everything really. <laughs> when I oh, him, I like this game a lot. Why were we here? Why did we exist? He just smiled and said, "Life is like a game. Just don't expect to be finished any time soon." When I, like I looked that. puzzled, he said, "Well, everyone should have a purpose." So I asked him, "What's my purpose?" He thought for a bit, then said. So you want to be a real boy? <laughs> the Pinocchio story. Which just staring. confused me even more. Eventually the old man said, For now, I want you to help clean things around the house. I must have looked unimpressed. As he then said, Okay, I want you to clean one million things. <laughs> it didn't sound like the meaning of life. But I suppose you've got to start somewhere. I like it. Chapter 2, Learn My Purpose. Cleaning a million things. God, I really hope I don't have to do that in this game. The next day, the old man said he wanted to install some more software, so he powered me down. When I came to, he said Mr. Silton had a joke for me, and that I should pull his <laughs> finger. I don't think I got the joke, so the old man powered me down again. This time when I pulled Mr. Silton's finger, I got the joke, but it wasn't very funny. <laughs> yeah. The old hilarious. man then explained that he had installed a special chip which allowed me to clean away anything that was broken. He said it also tells me how many things are nearby, and how many smaller things are in a bigger thing. Okay. It all sounded very complicated, but he said all I really had to do was pause and it would bring up all the information I needed. He then said he wanted me to find and clean all of the items in the room. He told me there would be some chains to climb, but that would be nice and easy, as I just had to press up. He then finished by saying, when I had collected all the items, I should come back here. Okay. Oh god. Get all the things. Okay, so that's everything there. Hey. Okay, that was weird. Okay. Oh God. My favorite electric things are ahead of me. Delightful. Great! Okay, I'm just thankful that I didn't have to clean that again. Oh, damn it, how did I miss? Okay. How could I, how do I clean that?
takes forever to get these things. Okay, something we have to just pause over. I get it now. What am I missing? There's five junk left. Where did I miss junk? Cheats. Cheaty, cheaty, cheaty. No, I'm okay with that. This is fun. The old man then asked the old lady Heather and I to follow him outside. I was happy too, as it was a lovely hot day. <clears throat> the old man said he was worried that Alice had been calling again. She had filled up a small barn with old bicycles and newspapers. Oh God. Heather said, this would be a perfect chance to properly test my new powers. The old man thought for a second, then said, using the step-toe chip, I should find and clean at least 300 things. When we explained to Alice what we wanted to do, she seemed scared. <laughs> but after the old lady kindly explained that, well, the barn was starting to smell. She said it would be okay. Thanks. One last thing, said the old man. If you want to use a door, just push up. When I was about to enter the old barn, Mr. Silton said he had seen some mushrooms growing inside. He asked me to give him any that I found, <laughs> he then winked, but I wasn't sure why. Of course not. Okay. And you gotta get 300 junk? A lot of junk. That's a lot of jumping. Okay. I got mushrooms. come through delightful let's see if I can get up there I do like the classical music okay, this looks like hell of course Oh God. Damn it. Okay. Each door. 12 junk combo. Me. A lot of bicycles. What does she want with so many bicycles? Okay. I got all the junk. The old man was very happy with everything that I had Because I'm good. But I think Mr. Silton was even more happy with his mushrooms. <laughs> of course he would be. They might be magical. Just ask Mario. Okay, fall.
It wasn't the days getting shorter, or the evenings getting colder. It was the falling leaves that really made me feel Aww. sad. Yeah. As we watched the trees blowing in the breeze, the old lady said, the leaves must fall before the blossom comes. She had already explained the seasons to me, so for once, I actually understood. But it didn't make me feel any better. Never does. The old lady obviously heard enough of my moping, and said, Right, next week we're going to have a party. For some reason she insisted that we were all going to wear costumes. Heather was very excited and said, I've got some perfect ideas. Wait, I know that music. Two good bells from Halloween. Okay. Seven PM to win? No idea. It was terrifying. Everyone was dressed like someone else. I think I was meant to be some kind of pumpkin, as everyone kept shouting, It's the great pumpkin. <laughs> Still, at least Mr. Silton was having fun telling everyone his joke. <laughs> and I suppose Heather's costume was quite Oh, he's Charlie Brown. Okay, I get it. I get it. Oh, took me After a second. What seemed like forever, everybody left, and things got back to normal. Heather was <laughs> allowed to watch a scary film before she went to bed. But I had to help Alice and Mr. Deck clean up. You, I wasn't happy about this. <laughs> but the old man said if I was quick, then I could watch the end of the film with them. I love it. So many good pop culture references Alice for my job. And Mr. Deck was taking down the decorations. So I thought I should clean up the plates and glasses. As you do. And the size. What's this thing here? The ear splitting sound was the fire alarm. As usual, Mr. Deck blames Mr. Silton, saying he was probably smoking one of his jazz, <laughs> jazz cigarettes. Jazz cigarettes? Yeah. But or then the professor appeared. He said that there was something burning in the kitchen. God. Alice looked confused saying that she hadn't cooked anything since the morning. We were all surprised when Mr. Deck opened the oven. Inside was a large black cloak and a slightly burnt pair of men's underwear. Suddenly the old lady burst in. She looked terrified. The hell? She kept shouting, there's someone on the roof. Oh, did not Santa Claus? When we went outside, it slowly became obvious that it was Mr. Silton. He was completely naked and playing his guitar. <laughs> he shouted down. When I finish this song, oh no. I'm going to fly. The old lady said, Oh my god, I know this one. There's only about 30 seconds left. Oh shit. The old man then quickly turned to me and said, You know what to do. Okay. No! Damn it! Trying not to be too careful, but gotta be careful. Too late. I failed that one? Okay. Okay. Oh shit. Damn it! Wow. 
one wacky big place. What the hell? How the hell am I supposed to get past there? One more try. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. I supposed to go here no stop it by the time I had made it up to the roof oh Mr. god Silton was beside the edge I tried to calm him down but he was acting even more bizarre than usual <laughs> I was getting nervous there for a second. <laughs> a local idiot. Hero bot at it again. After an hour or so, Mr. Silton was fine. He said he had eaten some bad magic mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Part of me wondered why he hadn't doubled in size. <laughs> Still, he was soon laughing and joking with the paramedics. One of them said he looked like the world's worst clown. I don't think Mr. Silton liked that. So he told his own joke. But that just made the other paramedic call him Marshmell Marso. <laughs> I don't think he liked that either. <laughs> but at least he was still in one piece. And that's the important thing. <sighs> A month or so later, Heather and I were playing video games. When the old man said he wanted me to come outside, he said it had been a year since I had arrived, so he had a present for me. Aww. He placed the teddy bear high up on a wooden platform. He then told me I should try to pick it up. <laughs> try as I might, yeah. I couldn't reach I the saw the new bear. shoes. However, I still don't understand what happened next. Huh? Oh god. Oh wow. That sucks. Press robot now. got the guy's hat. Cool. It does match my suit, so it makes sense.
I hate the Garys. I know I usually keep these things about a half hour, but this game keeps on going on and on and on and I don't want to stop. <laughs> so I'm going to continue on for just a little bit longer until this act is complete. Are we playing Tetris in our head now? Can't blame him. Recognize most of those pieces of work. Now I feel like I'm in Tron. Oh. Here's a Panzer Dragoon. Outrun. I'm confused. Was I dead? Was this heaven? It sort of looked like the basement bathroom. <laughs> and this is where I'm going to end things. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a blast. This was a lot of fun. Really looking forward to playing some more of it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye.